I think how I'm going to do the two-year-olds this week is look at the sets and uh, reflect on how they trained, what I heard from the drivers themselves, what we did with them, and um, you know how they're coming. Uh, absolute euphoria. We're going to take her to the vet. I think she's got a little OCD somewhere. We're going to take her to the vet and see how uh, how she makes out. But I suspect she's going to need an OCD taken out. I'm perfectly fine with that. I spoke to my partners on Absolute Euphoria yesterday and said, listen, I love the filly. I love her work ethic. I love her gait. But... She does have a little wrinkle in her. Let's figure out what it is and get that cleaned up right away. Always charming, got interfered with here in, let me see, that's good, I have the sets here. Set four, um, Brody was going with always charming when three of them made a break in front of him. He ended up mixed up. Now, uh, Mario snuck through with, with my 1% in the same mishap. Uh, where they all made breaks. It was kind of like Brody was the start of Days of Thunder when Tom Cruise ran into everyone, and Mario was the end of Days of Thunder when he pushed through. Um, one made a break, then another, then another, and Brody went right and got, and got, got in behind a wall of breakers, and Mario went left and just zipped right through. Um, very happy. Always Charming train great on, on Wednesday also, so very happy with Always Charming. Um, anchors up. Got to start going with Anchors up a little bit. James said he's just being a little lackadaisical, this guy. So we're going to have to pour some coal on the fire over the next couple of weeks with this guy and wake him up. Uh, we'll see how he looks in a few weeks. Austral Hanover, another guy. He was off three weeks. Got to start training him, getting a little work into him. Captain in the air, another horse needs some work put into him. These three horses, I don't really have any problems with them. They just need to do a little bit more moving forward. Carter Michael Deal looked fantastic. Uh, that was set one, wasn't it? Johnny come first over and beat them handily. He looked very, very good on Saturday. Really impressed with Captain or with Carter Michael Deal. Cash Deals missed yesterday with a couple of curbs crowd, so that's fine. They're cleaned up. Chocolate for lunch. I won seconds the second set with chocolate for lunch with Victor Cruz coming to me. Both those horses, Victor and Chocolate for Lunch, looked very, very good yesterday. Really impressed with them. Columbus looked good. Mario said, This is a nice colt, very green. I said, Yeah, well, he's nothing compared to how green he was a month ago. He's come a long way, did his work very, very well. Very impressed with Columbus. Now coming back to where we wanted him. I get really, really frustrated with him for geez, about a month. But he's really starting to come forward now. Uh, Coupe de Ville has been great. She was very, very good yesterday. Who went with her? Jimmy went with her, didn't he? Where is Coupe de Ville? With Brian Fantana, first set. Yes, I was way back with Luna Madonna. She made a break. James made a break with GJ's ATM. Carter Michael Deal won the set. Coupe de Ville was coming to him, sipping on my shine on the outside. Those horses all look good. Uh, and a number of people asked me about Crantini. Are we going to geld him? Are we going to change his gear? We're not doing anything with Crantini just yet. Relax. Grantini, that will not be his, ma his, his, his uh, only break. He's going to make them. But on his way to learning to be a horse, you're going to see him make these mistakes. Mentally, I need him focused. He's good right now. Yes, he made a break. It won't be his last. But we're not making any drastic changes with him just yet. He's not being gelded. He's not getting any of his headgear or his shoes or his equipment changed right yet. I know everybody wants to see, you know, uh, hey, we're going to do this and uh, Grantini's going to be awesome. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time. Cunning Connie has been great. Amy put her on her top 10 list. Number uh, 8 on Amy's top 10 list and looked very good yesterday. I'm surprised she put her on her list, but not really. She's just such an easygoing filly that does her work so well. I guess it's not that shocking at all. Cutie Cumber also made it onto Amy's list. Might have made a break Wednesday and Saturday, but not anything that we can't fix. And a very, very fast filly. Depend on it. Had a temperature last week for a little bit. Both him and Yuri had temperatures and I castrated depend on it that uh, we're going to we're going to vaccinate them again this week and if there's any hints of sickness or temperatures over the next 2 weeks with either of these two I'm going to turn the right out in the field for 3 weeks make sure we nip this in the bud right now dreaming of credit uh oh, he's got to go up to the vet today I have to take that guy up to the vet clinic right now good thing I mentioned his name I got to take him up to the vet clinic right now to get castrated um you're going to see me pick this list up a little quicker now. <laughs> so, uh, Dreaming of Credit is getting castrated today. Trained good yesterday. Finished second in 233 and looked good. Uh, Enzo Aguello, fantastic. This horse has been top of the food chain for us for the last three weeks. He just looks incredible. Fashion Presidente broke his hobbles yesterday, but has been awesome. It means nothing. The hobbles being broke can be fixed, and the horse has been great. I've always been impressed with this horse, but super impressed with him now. Five Fish Species did exactly what she could yesterday. Very happy with her. Full Heart is a killer. A ta uh, uh, our best trotting filly for Ohio right now. We got some nice ones, but none that want any part of Full Heart just yet. 
Gandalf the Black had a splint cryo this week. He'll be fine. GJ's ATM, uh, as I said, um, I love this horse. His staking, yes, I think now that he made the break yesterday, I'm leaning towards uh, leaning towards taking him out of the well. When it might have been a step forward, a little. I might have been outside my lane with that. Um, with the Wellwood for him. I just really like this Colt. Uh, High Enterprise has been awesome. She was awesome yesterday. Very impressed with her. Hill Street Blues. Going to go to the principal's office for the next week or so. Hobbles on him. Little shoeing change. Enough's enough. He's strong, big Colt. He needs to be doing his work better than he's doing it. We can help him do that over the next two weeks. Horn Player. Uh, not many horses. Maybe Enzo. But not many horses have been as impressive as Horn Player over the last three weeks. She was literally awesome again yesterday. Who did Amy put ahead of her? She was number three. Full heart. Well, I guess so. I guess so. Full heart was great too. Uh, Horn player has just been incredible the last little while. Lady All-Star. She wasn't bad yesterday. She made a mistake, but it wasn't out of ignorance or rudeness, which it's been before. She just slipped on the ice. I'm going to put the hobbles on her this week also. We're going to start going with her with those on. Landing pad. Just couldn't get a hold of the track. He's been lights out great for the past two weeks. Um, disregard that <coughs> mild miscue with him. <coughs> he just needs, um, excuse me, he just needs a little sharper pair of shoes and uh, no ice is what he needs to train on. Landing strip was good yesterday also when his training set looked good. Still a little bumpy in the mile afterwards that, that turn, um, the part of the track over by the turn, got a little rolly. We're going to continue to work on that with him. Um, leaps and bounds was very good yesterday training. Super impressed with that Philly. Lost spirit we castrated last week. He didn't train this week, but He's been great. He's been great for quite a while. May lose control. Trained good also. That was the that was the deepest end of the potion, uh, the ocean for us. Potion, the ocean for us yesterday. If you watch him finish up his mile, he caught up to us, and then after the mile down the back stretch, um, ended up going past us. Very impressed with, um, very impressed with the way he's done his work. Uh, very happy with May lose control. Magical Tom, I went with now. May, Magical Tom hasn't trained in three and a half weeks. So yesterday's mile was pretty incredible for him. He looked great doing it. Uh, Marshall Zukov was good again yesterday for Danny. He looked really good. Merchant Man, James said, was awesome yesterday. Very happy with the way he's been training. As I said, my 1% really, really caught my eye over the last two weeks. Very, very proud and impressed uh, with this horse and the work that they're putting into him. Um, nothing but a dreamer. Was great on Wednesday. Was good again yesterday. Pretty happy with that guy. Oh my gosh, looks terrible. But... Um, we got him gelded. Now we're going to make some shoeing changes, put the hobbles on him. Uh, give me two weeks. We might not need two weeks, but give me 14 days, and then we'll talk about a little bit new and improved. Oh, my gosh, I suspect. Uh, Olchek was good yesterday. Made a little break down the back stretch. I think Mario was just asking him to go a little harder than he was able to do. Slipped on the ice, made a break, come back pacing, and uh, finished up his mile very strong. Outlaw Jesse James was good yesterday. Real Fear didn't look good, but he's been our best horse. As I said to Greg... He hasn't trained in three and a half weeks. First over um, in with that crew. Might have been a little much, but uh, again, had a splint crowd, had a curb crowd. It's going to take him a couple of couple of training trips to get back in the swing of things. He'll go again on Wednesday. Rito Legacy was good. Mario was happy with her. I'm optimistic of this filly. I like her, but she just felt a little shallow on Wednesday. She needs to be a little healthier and work a little harder than she's been working. Um, but overall, looked good again yesterday. Rosita's dream has been good and continues to train good. Silent Assassin looked awesome. People don't talk about this filly, but she looked awesome. Both her and Una Madonna in the later set, set number five. Uh, Una Madonna looked fantastic with uh, Silent Assassin finishing up. Uh, landing pad and made a break and then really trotted hard the last quarter of a mile and looked good doing it. Um, sipping on my shine was great yesterday for Amy. Really, really happy with this cold. So strong. I think the biggest mover of the week is Sir Strong. From where he was to where he, where I was worried he would end up to now how he looked on Saturday. Yeah, I think Sir Strong was the biggest mover of the week for me. Sister Solange continues to be one of our top, top, top horses. Really like this filly. Smoking Hot Irish Girl made a break yesterday. I think she just slid, just slid off stride with the flip-flops on and that big rangy gait. But I'm certainly not worried about, about Smoking Hot Irish Girl, that's for sure. Uh, Spitfire Overseas made a break on Amy. That's a rarity. This horse has been lights out good. Um, I suspect they'll come back good again this week. Tactical Mounds will begin training on Wednesday. You'll see her back in the swing of things soon enough. Tact, uh, Tailgate Buzz won his training set yesterday. Or no, he was second. I thought he won, but he didn't get to um, um, uh, 
landing strip. I don't believe he did at the wire. I thought when I got up alongside Johnny, I was third with Sir Strong. Johnny was in the middle with Tailgate Buzz. I thought he won the set, but looking at the video, it didn't look like he got there. Either way, all three of those horses looked very, very good. Um, Tactical Tactor made a break yesterday. James attributed that to him just being a little too quiet and lackadaisical with the ear hood on. Take the ear hood off, he said. Uh, but he was great on Wednesday. Twin Cedars All-Star needs... Uh, he has to come a long way. I'm not doing him any favors. And Danny was upset that I put him in with tougher horses yesterday. I said, I'm not doing this horse any favors until he starts wanting to be a horse. So a little more heavy lifting for a couple more weeks. And then we'll find him a softer spot. Una Madonna acted up and was being a bit of a cow yesterday. First, uh, first set. Uh, I guess she thought that she would just get out of her work. Uh, that's a hard no. She came in and got the hobbles on and went in set five. Won the set. Looked very good. Mario said she was bionic with the hobbles on. Um, not really that shocking. For those of you wondering, she had the hobbles on for 10 minutes of her entire life on Saturday. Um, Victor Cruz was good again. Johnny went with him. Both him and Chocolate for lunch finished up right together in their set. They look good. Where we, Yuri, coming off some sickness. This is a trend with this guy. Um, what we might do is revaccinate him and uh, Marshall Zukov. And there's one other horse over there. Um, revaccinate them. And if he and if he doesn't bounce back super strong, he looks good. But if he doesn't bounce back super strong, kick him out in the field. What a mission. Got castrated. I thought this horse was castrated, but he wasn't yet. He was castrated on Friday, so he'll miss all next week for the most part. Um, Whispering Song was very good again. She trained great on Saturday. And wouldn't it be nice? Uh, got a slow training mile. She'll be back in the swing of things in the next training set. The next drone. Well, she, Wednesday she'll train. But the next drone set, she will be present. So that is everything. That's all your videos. Finish them all. All of them get finished at the barn today. I'm going to go back now. I'm going to call the veterinarian clinic and see about dropping this horse off. I forgot all about it. So I'll talk to you guys uh, very soon. Take care.